Paper Boat is a brand with a simple promise. Bringing back childhood memories with the authentic taste of traditional Indian drinks. Paper Boat drinks are made with natural ingredients without preservatives with no added colors or artificial flavors. So far the Paper Boat roaster consists of Amras, Ampanna, Jaljeera, Kokam, Jamun Kala Khatta, Imli Ka Amlana and Golgappa Ka Pani. Sattu and Rasam are the latest to be added in the list. A while ago, Hector Beverages also launched Tulsi and Ginger Lemon Tea. The functional beverages could be westernized which is an energy drink or it could be an Indian functional beverages which is Kokum and Ampan now the world is. Uh, the, the consumer uh, target audience is slightly different. Uh, Zynga target audience is slightly younger, uh, like 18 to 21 year old. Uh, paperboard target audience is like 25 to 28 year old. Um, and you have to talk to a different set of consumer. But otherwise, in terms of business model, uh, things primarily remain the same. Supply chain is far more complex in paperboard because you have to work with farmers all the time to get the fruit uh, because these fruits are not available generally on a commercial scale and that kind of makes the supply chain very very difficult. Then, then we, as a, as a brand we decided to be closest to nature so every ingredient we choose is, is as natural as is possible. We do not use preservatives, we do not use colors and, and that has kind of made this brand quite authentic like that's how it was made at home the reason why paperboard is succeeding is the quality of fruit so i'll give you an example of amras amras we use mangoes uh, which is being used by other big beverage brands also however the thing which we differentiate is like we use we only use naturally ripened mango like you know it's, it's not bad to use uh, mangoes which are ripened in ethylene chambers which most of the companies do because the scale is high etc now we will see how the product paper boat made miles away from the shop, shipped around the world, stored in a warehouse then moves onto the shelves of the store. Raw materials are procured from various parts of India. Hector Beverages procures the raw materials like mango pulp, kokum pulp and other kinds of fruit pulps from ISO 22000 certified vendors. The vendors generally acquire high graded fruits with A++ grade from places like Azadpur, Belgaon, Chittor of Delhi, Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh respectively. Kokums are procured from Maharashtra followed by tea from Karnataka. The company places order for the pulps for one year of production from the vendors and it fluctuates depending upon the demand forecasted of various flavors. The materials like the extracts and the pulps are stored in the inventory for a minimum of one month but the sugar is stored for few more days. Frozen materials are stored in the temperature controlled cold storage at minus 22 degrees centigrade and the pulps are stored at minus 4 to minus 10 degrees centigrade. Other materials for day to day activities and chemicals for cleaning processes are also stored in the warehouse. The required sugar and spices are taken from the ISO certified vendors and stored at 4 to 18 degrees centigrade. All the water supply that they depend on comes from the Haryana state government water supply and stored in their Manisar plant. Essentially, we went into uncharted areas where the back supply of the fruit and processing in the form which you want it to be is not available in the market. I think that was one amongst the biggest challenge when you're launching few products like this. I'll give you an example of a drink which we want to make. We are looking for a black carrot and we have been searching it for the last one and a half years to get in the right quantity. We have not been able to do it and uh, I'm pretty hopeful that in next six months we should be able to find a solution there. Hector Beverages has a fully integrated production plant where all the equipments are connected so the individual unit can communicate with one another. It gives the company to standardize the procedure from incoming raw materials to palletized products. Raw materials are picked from the trucks and stored in their warehouse of Manesa plant. The first step of producing paper boat is to make the sugar syrup. For this, sugar is dumped into the sugar dumping unit, then it is treated with hot water in another chamber and heated till 85 degrees centigrade to complete the first stage. The sugar is in syrup form now. After pH filtration and 30 minutes of boiling, the impurities are removed and concentrated syrup is produced. It is then blended with pectin mixture, measured quantity of flavor and spices in a blending tank. Once blended, the mixture is passed through a homogenizer 
followed by the pasteurization plant. This readies a flavored mixture which is then passed through RO water storage tank to purify the drinks. While packaging, the company assures that no oxidation is there in the process and carbon and oil filtration is also done. Then the drink is packed into the pouches and sealed by plastic caps. Once packed, the filled pouches are passed through the post pasteurization tunnel. The pouches are kept under the water to cool down for about 40 minutes. After that, they are passed through an air drying tunnel. Generally, production takes place with 40 to 70 percent of extra quantity every month for growing demand in the market. Cleaning of every unit in the plant takes three hours to switch over to a new flavor. Cleaning of each chamber is done automatically one by one, not simultaneously, so that the other chambers keep running and production doesn't stop. Otherwise, the plant would be idle for three hours. At the end, packaging takes place where 24 pouches of freshly prepared paperboard drink are packed in a carton. The sealed cartons are then transported to the warehouse from where they are finally sent to the retail outlets. For packaging, they outsource the pouches and the caps, which they generally order 45 days before production depending upon the forecasted demand. The finished products are kept in the warehouse or in the distribution centers for 7 days before being made available to the consumers. In these 7 days, they test some samples for microbiological compliance. According to the quality standard of hectare beverages, if any sample fails in the taste, the whole lot would be drained. The company practices all the food safety objectives by food safety management system with 100% microbiological compliance personal hygiene factor and product integrity compliance to make paper boat safe and healthy to consume. As we move from stage 1 to stage 2, the complexity is not doubling up, complexity I think would be exponential. And I think that's where we are, you know, spending a lot of time in training, setting up processes, you know, letting it move away from an individual or charisma led functional expertise to a process-led company. I think that's, that's the stage where we are right now. Hector Beverage's ERP-based information system Navigant is the brain of the plant. Controlling the entire supply chain management process, it ensures smooth operation based on our end-to-end -end communication. Before the shipping of the products, all the boxes are scanned by the RFID scanner and the barcode scanner and then loaded to the trucks. The company outsources fleet for their logistic solution from FedEx and VRL Logistics, which provide them full truckload and less than truckload services. Hector Beverages started with four metropolitan cities, but now it distributes paper boat all over the country. And with the new online shop, they ship directly to 80 cities across India. They have already started exporting to UK, US, France, Canada, Australia, UAE and Malaysia. Hector Beverages follow direct shipping and shipments via distribution centers with milk runs for the shipment of their products to the wholesalers and retailers. Retailers generally order paperboard products weekly or bi-weekly from the distribution centers depending upon the demands. With a strong distribution network, Hector Beverages always make the products available on the shelves of the stores. Its authentic taste makes every sip a walked out memory lane. This is what guided us in the social media by taking people back to their childhood. We brought back to life games long forgotten, silly pranks that got us into trouble, and everything in between. And thus, our product gained momentum. The fan base grew rapidly. Consumer generated engagement was arguably among the highest beverage pages worldwide.
independent reviewers took time to give us feedbacks and recommended the drinks as well. But campaign stuns users who had not tasted paper boats into avid fans. Now, isn't that the thought worth cherishing?